Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? It's official. Dimitri Payet has signed for Marseille from West Ham. He's rejoined the French side. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions of Dimitri Payet leaving West Ham to rejoin Marseille. In this video, we're going to be going through the stats of his career and we're just going to be just sort of touching on the controversy a little bit. So Dimitri Payet has left West Ham. He's left for £25 million, which is is obviously not the 35 that was rumored to be offered in the summer. The thing is, the thing is, no one wins in this whole situation with Dimitri Pai. He's left in January, putting West Ham in a horrible position. West Ham aren't getting like the full value that they could have in the summer when there was reported 35 million pound bids for him. They should have sold him in the summer, and I've said this previously. I would have really liked him to move on to whoever was offering. My daddy would have gone to a Real Madrid or a Barcelona. That was some of the interests, but. Yeah, if you could have if you could have got that thirty five million pounds, I would have most definitely done it. He was dropped to he was dropped from the first team and was told to train with the under twenty ones. He refused to do that. <laughs> what what also is just like sort of humiliating for West Ham fans? They have a fucking mural at mural at the front of their stadium, and they've got West Ham guards um, looking at it now. Like after one season, they've put a just a painting a mural of him on the side of their new stadium. There's so many things going wrong with West Ham. They don't need this Payet saga, obviously, with the, the seats in the stadiums and the atmosphere and all the problems going along with that and Slav and Bilic as well. So uh, I, I, I really, really feel bad for the Hammers fans. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions on Dimitri Payet once. So the 29-year-old was born in saint pierre Rion. I think that's how you say it. I've never had to say it before. Uh, Rion is an island off the coast of Mad Madagascar, so it's probably closer to Australia than France, more, more more likely. So he played his youth career there, played a lot in the French league during his senior career, played at Nantes, played 33 games, five goals, joined Saint Etienne in 2007 to 2011, played 129 games. So for his senior career, he's played mostly for Saint Etienne, 129 um, games, 19 goals. He moved to Lille in 2011. To 2013, 71 games, 18 goals. I wonder if he was actually playing alongside Eden Hazard at that time period. When did Eden Hazard sign for Chelsea? I can't remember off the top of my head. Regardless, he moved to Marseille in 2013 to 2015. Played 72 matches for Marseille, scoring 15 goals. Then he had his big move to the Premier League, his big move to West Ham. From 2015 to 2017, he played 48 games for the Hammers and scoring 11 goals. Now he's back at Marseille, international career caps wise. For France, he has played 32 matches and has scored 8 goals. So, it's official. He's joined Marseille now. Stay tuned for more official player transfers coming towards the end of the window. Stay tuned for more career mode football management videos on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even some PSN and Xbox codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Patreon and Steam Group, highly recommend the Steam Group. Come and chat with fellow community members. Come join the Steam Group. Thanks, guys. My name is Ben Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup. Marco Royce. Holy shit.